pod rebooting. Stand by. They're back online, Colonel. Thank you, darling. That's Dr. Darling. Dr. Elizabeth Veronica Darling. Colonel Sloan, it's us. Sergeant Rex Power Colt. Lieutenant T.T. Brown. Of course. They sent you boys after me. Now that right there is the definition of insanity. Darling, you are looking at two genuine Mark IVs. Top of the line. Is that it? I know what happened to your face. Price of power, boys. She's a mean, demanding bitch. She's a wildcat in a sack. Sir, what happened? They said you went off the reservation. It's gotta be a mistake. Ever since the nuking of Canada and the invasion of Australia, the world's been floundering something fierce. We've lost our way, gentlemen. And now the government, our government, talks reconciliation with the Red Menace. But I have a means to redress the balance. Rex, Rex, Rex. He's lost it, man. What are your orders regarding me and Omega Force, huh? How much does Washington know? I'm sorry, sir. I respect you, but I can't. <laughs> and you bought into their goddamn lies. What a beauty. Did you download my mainframe into your cortex? Fuck you. <laughs> I know what you're planning. Your Mark IVs were smart, but way too independent life. Printed you Mark IVs with all my combat savvy, right? What? I'm giving you a shot at the brass ring, boy. Briarpad, come in. Sergeant Rex Colt? Wait, who is this? Dr. Elizabeth Darling. I keyed into your comm when I was examining you. I always cut you off from Briar Patch. What the hell was that? I'm sending you coordinates to a safe location. And why should I trust you? Because I hate Sloan. Oh. Okay, Doc, what's the plan? Stay low and stay quiet. The Blood Dragons have poor eyesight and a hunger for humans and cyborgs. What? Hello? Fuck. Scanning cave interior. Exit located. Objective. Escape. Alert. You have no equipment and are completely defenseless. Avoid all contact with cyber soldiers. All right, so we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Sinistrino 1, your host, with uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. I guess this is mission number two. Looks like we have collectibles that we can start to collect, and we're definitely going to be trying to get as much as we can while we are going through this game. <clears throat> all right, so it looks like there's possibly something down there. Yep, I can see a way to get up, so that means might be something here. Let's see if we can find it. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, that's exactly the kind of walkthrough you guys are going to expect to see uh, from my channel, for those of you that are new that are watching this. Uh, definitely going to be looking for all the little collectibles that you can find, as well as just having lots of fun, being as stealthy as possible, and kicking some freaking ass. With Rex coat. What's up with all the blue goo? Dr. 
Darling mention they possess poor eyesight. Crouching may be advisable. The creature is emitting bioradiation. I've calibrated your scanner to alert you to their presence. All right. So these are the blood dragons. Definitely want to stay away from them. I'm trying to be nice and stealthy. That's right. Can you see here? I mean, they actually look really, really cool. Waiting to see where he's going to move to next. There he goes. Keep going. There we go. Good job, Rex Power Cult. Oh, so now we have a reason, another reason for these cyber hearts. This takes me back. All right, so press left direction to throw it. Alright, let's keep going here. We need to get to that advantage point over there. We still got two more hearts if we need some distractions. Got another one up there. And we got a couple more bodies down here. We're going to go ahead and collect those. I'm sure we're going to need plenty of hearts in this whole process. Don't want to be seen by regular enemies, though. Speaking of, let's see what we got. Four enemies. Just remember, the shield protects the soldiers inside from the dragons, but it won't stop the dragon's laser fusion blasts. They're what? Hello? Damn it. Reminder. Alright, so we might be able to take these guys out without having to do anything. Oh, nice. That's right, you join the action, buddy. Omega Force soldiers just arrived. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh no. They're rounding up the scientists. Then get out. Not if you want a shot at Sloan. You need to secure the garrisons for supplies. Detecting weapons in the bunker that you can use. Alright. 
Should be safe now, I think. Oh, what do we got here? No way. Objective. Use cyborg vision to tag hostiles in the base from the overlook. All right. Objective. You have several options in securing garrisons. You can kill all hostiles yourself. You can lure the dragons to the main gates, or you can bring down the mega shields. This will attract nearby dragons to the garrison automatically. Oh, or perhaps you can. For fuck's sake, shut up, HUD. I do what I want. Understood. <laughs> that there are two ways to turn off the mega shields through either the console or directly at the generator which you can also destroy blah 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 kill blah 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 all right so we got another dragon over there so we got obviously i guess a lot of options we can either go down here and take them all out ourselves or we can have the dragons do the work for us i guess by heading over here which I think that is the option that I'm going to go for. Might as well do all the work, um, or not do any of the work, and let the uh, dragons do the work for us. Plus, I like to watch the carnage. Alright, so I want to make sure I don't get too close to that guy there. Alright, so we've got C4. I think we can use the C4 probably to destroy what we need to. Just make sure he is away from us. So, open the laser shield thingy so those dragons can come in. Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right. Ooh, sweet. I'll take that. Let's see if we can get a better bird's eye view from up there where we can actually zip line down. Before I blow this thing up. Sky high. Sky high. Alright, let's see what happens here. Nice. happen to be my two favorite things. All right, so I'm going to let all these guys do the work. to get down there. We're really liking this game so far. I don't know if we can go through this door or not. I don't know what those, um, no, I don't know what those voice things are. As you can see, there's like a, a volume signal right there. I'm not really sure what that's for. And so the dragon is still taking care of whatever the dragon needs to take care of. I got those guys there. Don't want to get caught. So I want to get up there. How am I going to do this? It's kind of hoping there's another way up. Now well, this is where I was before. I guess I just have to jump down. I didn't want to uh, shoot the guys from too far away as I was afraid that maybe the damage wouldn't be enough. 
and there's no zip line. So you drop them from here, which is probably kill me. Now maybe I can zip line. No. Oh sweet, that took him out. Reminder, you can use cyber hearts to lure the dragon out of the garrison. Wow, okay, we're finished. <laughs> he took out every single one of them. That's great. Alright, but now our objective is that we need to lure this guy away. Oh, okay, that's what it is, duh. That's the alarm. I knew what that was. Alright, so we need to lure these guys away. Alright, so if I'm going to lure them away, let's try this. Good, we got it. Objective complete. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. What are those things? We're not sure. Perhaps a living fossil from the early Cretaceous period. We call them blood dragons. BDs for short. When Sloan drank their blood, it supercharged his cybernetics. He drank their blood? Is that a joke? No, Sergeant. If it is a joke, I'm afraid it's a bad one. The blood supercharged Sloan, making him even more powerful. And one ugly motherfucker. Why are you helping Sloan? And what does he want with that rocket? Sergeant, slow down. Please. We were using the rockets to test biochemical payloads of the dragon's blood. Rockets? As in more red spears? How many? I don't know. A lot. I don't think Sloan is interested in tests anymore. And I don't even want to get into what it does to normal people. That's why he went AWOL? Sergeant, Sloan wasn't entirely there to begin with. Now he's got rockets, and God knows what he's planning. What else the needle, Doc? Listen, this will make you more like Sloan. Powerful, but without the side effects. No, Doc. No way. You swore an oath to a special lady. Your wife? No. Lady Liberty. She taught me that winners don't use drugs. All right, look. Sloan runs three top secret facilities, each critical to his operations. I'm sending you their coordinates. Contact me when you reach them, and I'll give you all the intel you need. You got yourself a deal, Doc. What about you? Are you safe here? Just as long as Sloan doesn't realize I'm helping you. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>